For this linear programming problem, we will first look at the two constraints e greater than or equal to zero and d greater than or equal to zero. This means we're restricted to the first quadrant. Now we'll go ahead and move on to the next inequality, 2e plus d greater than or equal to four. To graph that inequality, we must first switch it to an equation and graph the line. We're gonna find two points, the e and d intercept. And now we'll find the d intercept, set e equal to zero. That corresponds to the point four zero. So with the two points, we can go ahead and graph the line. Now, since it's an inequality, we need to shade a region. So we're either gonna shade above the line or below the line, we have to decide. We're gonna use the test point zero zero. And when we plug that in, we're gonna get zero greater than or equal to four, which is false. Zero is not greater than or equal to four. So we're gonna have to shade the region that does not contain zero zero, which is above the line. And now we can move on to the next inequality. Again, switch it to an equation, graph the line. We're gonna find two points, the E and D intercept again. And now the D intercept, set E equal to zero. And if we work that out, we'd get D equal to negative one half. And now we need to use a test point arbitrarily. Again, we're gonna use zero, zero. And we plug that in, we get zero greater than or equal to one, which is false. Zero is not greater than or equal to one. So we're gonna shade above the line, the region that does not contain zero, zero. Now the last inequality. Again, switch it to an equation, find the E and D intercepts, which you don't have to do. You can graph it using any two points, but it's just more convenient to find the intercepts. So with the two points, we graph the line. Now we use a test point. Again, you can choose any point, but as long as it's not a point on the line, we're arbitrarily gonna choose zero, zero. And we plug that in. We get zero less than or equal to four, which is true. Zero is less than or equal to four. So we shade below the line. That's where zero, zero is, below the line. Now we can see our feasible region. Again, we're restricted to the uh, first quadrant due to the constraints. So we can only use that little portion right there because that's in the first quadrant. And we're gonna use the four corner points. The four corner points are zero two, zero eight. Uh, that's the point two fifths comma nine fifths. And the final point is seven thirds comma 17 thirds. So when we plug those into our uh, function that we're trying to minimize, we can see the values we're getting. And all we have to do is take the minimum value of those. So as you can see, the two on the right are improper fractions, so they're greater than one. So the minimum is gonna be C of zero comma two, which is equal to one.